And we are underway. Get him to bite. On the 3 2 fly ball. Center field chasing after it and watching it go. And for the second day in a row, the Hoosiers knock it out of the park in the first inning. Philip Glasser, his first home run of the season. And Indiana leads 1 0. And there's some IU fans that are here at Doug Kingsmore Stadium today. 3 2 pitch. He, get, he challenged him with the fastball. He just got it up a little bit. And he was able to get around and uh, drove it pretty good. He's getting a little help from a little wind again. Two pitch. Swing and a miss. And Hoffman is able to get out of the inning with a strikeout. And the Hoosiers do lead the bases low. Fly ball, left field. Matheson charging in after it. Will dive and will not be able to come up with it. Brewer's on his feet. He will slide into second. He is safe. Tough play for Matheson. He tried to just hustle in and couldn't quite get to it. Glasser tried to come over and help him, but the ball drops in. 3-0 pitch. Takes that one. Walks on four. Runners at the corners now. Fly ball. Left field. Matheson looks like he has a play. Runner will go. The throw to the plate will be off the mark. And we are tied at one. Sack fly for Caden Grice. Early in the ball game, medium fly ball. Going to be tough to get your leadoff hitter. It's got good wheels out at home. Fly ball, center field, driving Whalen back. He waits at the track and hauls it in. And that will end the inning. So both Indiana and Clemson, they get a run. 1-2 pitch, slaps it, right field, base hit. Hit number four for Indiana, 3-1. It's low and he walks him. That's a two-out walk and now IU has runners on the corners. IU, it's an 0-2 pitch, single right side, it'll bring a run in. And Tibbetts does exactly that. And Indiana's back in front again, it's 2-1. So for whatever reason, the pinch hit move was made. It pays off. Tibbetts with the RBI. From Hoffman, grounder. Wagner has it. Will step on third, and that will end the inning. But Indiana gets a run across. He'll take the walk. It's a one-out walk to Engel. Balls and a strike. There's a drive. Right field. No doubt about it. That flew way over the Cajun Cafe. A two-run shot for Caden Grice, his first of the 2022 season, and the Tigers had their first lead of the day. That was a blast. Obviously, Stahl wanted that strike to pitch before that, and that's why you want those strikes, because you don't want to have that hitter feeling like he's got the advantage on you. And he came back with a fastball, and Grice got every bit of it. Colopy, the right fielder, took about two and a half steps and said, nope. Eight on the weekend. There's a shot, left field, base hit. Blackwell makes it into second. Runners have, Tigers have runners at first and second. One. Fly ball, right field, way back. It's going to be brought in, though, by Colopy. Grice gave it another ride, but Colopy brings it in, and the Hoosiers get out of the inning with no damage done. Those are, we're expecting to be as Ammons and... He hasn't been able to get into the game so far this weekend because of the nature of the game. Ammons hits Glasser. And that's going to put a second runner aboard. Back to old school. There's a shot to short. It's not handled by Blackwell. Dones will turn and come across, and we are tied. Whalen goes head first into second. He's safe. And it is 3-3. Got the ground ball you wanted. Blackwell couldn't handle it. I mean, it's a shot, no question. 
It's where you got to get in front if you get a chance. And played it off to the side and did not get a contact on it. Just sneaked under his glove. Ammons pitch. Missed it. Bases are loaded. Saw that fist pump by Matheson looking back. Outside, he walks him. And the Hoosiers get the go-ahead run. A free 90 goes against Clemson in this case, and it's 4-3. Another 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss, and Edmondson gets out of the inning. The Hoosiers leave the bases loaded, but they get two across to take the lead. And the immediate offer is being taken to get it. And a ball will send Ferry to first. Walks him. So it's a two-out walk to Wag. 2-2 two -two pitch to Blackwell. Hit him. Last thing you wanted to have happen there. Grounder. Handled by Dones. The toss to first to Tibbetts. And Indiana gets out of the inning with the lead. The Tigers leave three. Brewer frustrated. And he walks him. Walks him on five pitches. There is a shot to right field. It'll drop for a base hit. Hawkins will hold at second. Grice is fired up for good reason. Tigers have runners at first and second. Only one out here. Walked him on four pitches, and the bases are loaded. The pitch, swing and a miss. Huge strikeout for Tucker in Indiana as Wright goes down. The pitch, that was high. Corbett thanks the fans for their reaction. He gets a standing ovation, a walked-in run. Indiana took the lead on a bases-loaded walk. Clemson gets it back and ties it again at four. Tucker, swing and a miss, a big strikeout. The Tigers leave the bases loaded, but they get the tying run across. No one pitch. There's a shot, it's gonna be a base hit. Coming over is Chad Ferry. Tibbetts though with his third hit of the week. The pitch, runner was going, gets the strikeout. A big K for Jay Dill. Walked him. Winning run is now at first. It's a ball. Two aboard, but the winning run now in scoring position at second. There's one out. Ground ball. Handled by the third baseman. Pye, but he's got no play. It's an infield single, and now the bases are loaded. Pitch strike three, and Indiana gets out of the jam, and Tucker celebrates. Inside and walked him. Clemson fans thought they saw strike three, but it's a one-two pitch from Grice. Rounder. It's going to be handled by Blackwell. He's got no play. That took a big hop. It was slow to get to him, and the 3-0. Takes inside. He walks him. Bases are loaded now for the Hoosiers. 0-2 pitch. Grounder. Blackwell handled, handles it. The toss over. The force at second. And the Tigers get out of a ball and a strike. There's a shot. It'll drop in. Base hit to center field. The leadoff man is aboard. It's Blackwell. There's a shot. Base hit. Blackwell will come in standing up to second. And the Tigers have had back-to-back -back singles here in the bottom of the 10th. The pitch. Grounder. It is handled by Dones for one. They try to turn the double play. Not in time. They get one out, but now the winning run is 90 feet away with one away. There's a shot, right field, caught by the right fielder. The throw to the plate will be off the plate. 
Clemson wins on a sack fly in the bottom of the 10th inning. They win the game and they sweep the series.